Hey there, welcome to my indoor winter training series. Now there are three parts, today is the first part and probably surprisingly for you, I'm not starting with a backswing, I'm starting with the impact position. Because if you can get your impact position right, then you will, and get a feel for that position, then you'll automatically, for example, swing better down towards the ball. Okay, so let's start, let's get going. I've got an eight iron. And the first thing you want to do is take the correct stance. Now, it's so important that you bend forwards using your hip joints and don't just sit. Okay, so I always teach my students to bend forwards using the hips lower the arms and after doing that then just moving the body downwards and then it's a good test is to see if your hip joint is more or less over your ankles because that gives you a lot more freedom and ability to, to turn from there let's now get into the perfect impact position so that i am able to do it it's important that you don't stand too far apart. Okay, shoulder width, that's fine. I wouldn't go over that. And then look at my left foot, it's open. You, most of us need an open left foot so that we can turn properly. You'll also see a lot of good players um, tend to open their feet while turning, and that helps the rotation. Okay, so that's Definitely okay. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is turn my hips as much as I can. And I'm also going to turn my stomach and my breast as far as possible towards the target. Now when I do that, I want to allow my left leg to straighten. My right heel can come off the, will come off the ground automatically. And while I'm doing that, I'm thinking about my left bum cheek that I really press that towards the imaginary wall behind me. And I make sure that my head stays forwards. We want as much space as possible under the breast to swing the arms. Okay. And my weight is obviously left. And very important is what I do with this left, left hip. I do not want to drive the hip in that direction. First of all, it's unhealthy. And secondly, it causes me problems in the swing. So the weight is left. I just need to rotate. And you can draw a straight line from your ankle through your hip, through your left shoulder in this position. And then what about the shaft? What about the hands? What about the release? It's important that you haven't released the club totally yet. That's only going to happen, yeah, that only should happen after you've hit the ball. Okay, so definitely want the shaft to lean forwards. And there's still a little bit of room left of angle left to release. Okay, so once you've practiced this position enough and got a feel for it, make a few back swings, a few small back swings. Keep your body in the same position so you won't be able to make a full back swing and then just swing through. You'll immediately notice um, how free it feels with the arms. There's no need for the chicken wing, you can just release the club and allow the arms to straighten. So that's the first step. You can do it right now at home. In a few day days time, I'm going to be uploading the next video. That's the top of the backswing. And I look forward to seeing you. My channel is brand new. I'd love you to subscribe. See you.